Today, we talk about... Okay, so uh, we got through the entire espresso ristretto line on the last video, and uh, now we dive into the other-ish. Let's do it. So leading off with a real bang, uh, let's put this aside for a second. Look at this box, bruh. Transformers, if you recognize them, you recognize them. I hate the uh, shadow of the camera in there, but that's how like beautifully mirror-ish this box is. You see Soundwave on there from the Transformers series. Uh, love, love, love that cartoony look to them right there. Uh, you see it says Transformers, Bait, and Deodora. This was obviously a collaboration between Bait and Deodora. They put out a line of Transformers um, sneakers. Excuse me. And this to me was the best one. So, um, again, look at that beautiful paper in there with uh, sort of a blue printy vibe with Soundwave. And uh, I recently looked at his masterpiece figure, so this was an absolute must cop for me. In my opinion, maybe the best toy ever made. Definitely in the uh, top of any list of any best Transformers toy ever made. Um, but yeah, I mean, just look at this paper. Like, just beautiful attention to detail. The full Soundwave figure there. Bait, Deodora. Bait just absolutely crushed it with Deodora back in uh, Deodora's peak, if you will. Um, you see his uh, alt mode with the uh, tape recorder. If you haven't seen my video on Soundwave, his toy and uh, his alt form and all that ish, Go ahead and uh, remind yourself. Um, but yeah, getting into the kicks. Look at this beautiful thing. So it comes with this nice little tag, again, with that beautiful blue, uh, with Soundwave on it, his alt form, and then his robot form there. Let's see if I can get you a good look on that. There you go. And then, of course, look at the shoes. So uh, this is an Aeon silhouette. Uh, I did show off the OG with the Espresso Ristretto line. This is uh, very much different in that that one was more mesh. This one's a little bit more nubucky suede. I'm guessing this is nubuck, but definitely not the same material. Definitely feels a little bit more premium, if you will. You get the nice logo again. Little hits of yellow. Bob hits you with the Decepticon logo. Bob hits you with that more of a die cast almost um, Decepticon logo. I, I would be amazed if this was die cast metal. Uh, kind of an ode back to the OG toys and like premium constructed toys, which would fit great with the theme of Deodora, premium constructed products. Word. Um, now, the other thing. The insole is obviously a little bit different, which is cool. If I can get it out. Come on. All right, maybe it doesn't want to come out, but uh, I hope you can kind of get Yeah, there you go. So you see the Transformers metallic logo on there. So dope. So dope. Uh, beautiful, beautiful navy laces. I hope you can appreciate that. And then again with that sort of a neoprene bluish tint there. Um, now, the beautiful thing about this shoe, we came with extra laces, but I'm really feeling these yellow laces. I think these yellow laces would really help this shoe pop. I think it would just add just enough extra flair for it to really, really flash, because I do like some flashiness to my sneakers on occasion. And uh, yeah, I think that would work very well with this. I love the gradient blue to navy on these uh, midsole panels here. So, so dope. Oh, loaded. And then some nice suede hits uh, on the side here, uh, keeping the booty construction, so to speak. And then of course, check out that outsole, the OG with the Italian colors on the bottom, but this with a little bit more uh, uniform navy. And then don't forget, this also came with a beautiful little toy. So this was a custom toy built specifically for this bait collaboration. Each of the toys in the, each of the shoes in the line came with its own individual toy, I believe. Uh, this one, again, to me was the best. Doesn't actually transform, but who cares? I've seen the individual toys selling on eBay for like 200 bucks almost, um, if not more. And uh, oh, the Decepticon logo is the best logo. I'm sorry, this is just the best-ish ever. Um, Cool looking cartoony little toy, very cute. Uh, would work well as a display piece uh, for the shoes. Um, but uh, but yeah, I was actually shocked when I bought this from StockX that it included the toy. I was actually very pleased with it, but I wasn't expecting it. So 
really happy to have it and uh, just a great packaging overall. So thanks, Bay. Thanks, Deodora. Thanks, Hasbro. Thanks, Transformers. Michael Bay, you still here? Who invited this guy? Whew. Next up, uh, lovely difference in boxes. Again, uh, from the classic Deodor box, we have another bait collaboration. This one, the Notti Veneziane, made in Italia. This, I believe, was their first, Bait's first collaboration with, um, uh, with Deodora. And uh, Bait was flown out to uh, their factory in uh, Cairano di San Marco. I hope I'm not uh, butchering that. And uh, when they were hosted there by Diodora, that's where their factory is and that's where they checked it out. Um, but also uh, Venice is very close to there, so they spent the night in Venice and they took an inspiration from their experience in Venice to create the shoe. So, here we have another N9000 model. This was a very popular model used to make a lot of collaborations in the heyday of Diodora in the 2015-16 era. Uh, but just, oh my God, man. Especially pictures of the shoe just really pop. It's just a very aggressive, mean looking shoe. Uh, from what I heard, uh, this outsole with the lovely, lovely speckling there, these were actually taken from sands on the beaches of Italy to actually put into the outsole here, which is very, um, almost looks like an ice cream scoop. If they were to take an ice cream soup and somehow, somehow turn it into an outsole, this is what I'd imagine it looks like. Get the Diodora logo right there, obviously. And then comes with these interesting looking leather laces. Uh, but personally, I think I'm gonna switch them out to these uh, maroony looking laces. I think they work the best with these, especially in photos. This here with this uh, premium, premium suede material, new bucky material, uh, greenish on that side, whitish on this side. Not sure the significance of that, wish I did. Beautiful, beautiful blue here. Nice tumble to it, nice tumble to it. Look at this leather, oh. They use so many different kinds of leather on this thing. It's just such a premium, premium construction. You see the N9000 logo there, the Diodora, again the outsole, uh, the semi-obstructed uh, logo here, which again, is starting to grow on me. Nice little premium looking heel tab uh, puller thing here with saying Diodora on it. Um, what else, you get the nice gold trim on the uh, insole with the collaboration. Uh, and then again, bait written there. Uh, and then yeah, just this like a uh, snakeskin looking leather here. Uh, they used, was it apricot leather, I think they call it, uh, along with bovine leather and some other leathers. Uh, but regardless, just absolutely crushed the shoe. Again, don't like to get multiples of um, uh, the same silhouette, but just, I kept looking at the shoe over the past two years, and I was like, you know what? I already broke the seal with the rest of these Diodors. Might as well just jump right in, you know what I'm saying? So here we is. Ah, let's go back to bait for a minute, shall we? Now, this is the bait Diodora Spiaggiro, Spiaggia Rosa. Now, you see, again, a beautiful custom box. Uh, this, you see the foam of the ocean, or Mediterranean Sea, I guess, uh, hitting the beach. And this is an ode back to uh, beaches in, is it Sardinia or somewhere in Sicily, where they have these beautiful beaches with like pinkish, reddish sand. Uh, just an absolutely gorgeous place in Italy. And this was actually the first Diodora I model I bought in the course of this Diodora explosion, if you will. And just something about it just screamed amazing, amazing spring summer shoe. I mean, just look at this thing, dude. Just look at this thing. Oh my God, that beautiful gold trim for the N9000 logo, Diodora again. Just beautiful, beautiful leather, the grays, the pink, the pastels, just absolutely amazing. The tongue with the gold trim again. You get the uh, ropey leather laces. Very, very beautiful, very, uh, very interesting. No uh, back stitching, interesting enough. And then, oh, dude, look at this outsole. Oh my God. It's like these little flakes from, uh, I guess, to signify the sand of the beach. Very, very pretty, very pretty. Um, and then the outsole, or the uh, insole pattern, again, with more trim with the Abate logo on there. Uh, just, just an amazing shoe. Can't wait to wear this. This is just A1 Diodora. Next up, this one's kind of special too. Extra Butter Diodora N9000. Again, the N9000 was a popular model for collaborators. It's a pretty shoe. Uh, you see the uh, Extra Butter slash, or slash, X Diodora logo there. Uh, just a beautiful, non-traditional box. Again, always nice. 
So, you see the little uh, knife on there, and these are called the N9000 Giallos. And this was an ode back to, and which kind of references the box too, so, uh, which refers to yellow, and that was, I guess, the spine of old horror novels, uh, and which later carried on into um, Italian horror genre that's uh, of uh, movies, that's what they would refer to as giallo. So, Extra Butter being the boutique in uh, Manhattan uh, that has very heavy movie themes, and that's what they pursue in all their collaborations. That's what they decided to do with the N9000. So you see this premium, premium, premium construction with all these different shades of colors. Just such a beautiful hodgepodge of colors. I've never seen ever this combination of colors on a shoe. Uh, the black, I guess, was to signify like uh, the dark, uh, menacing, choking of a, of a victim. Um, from, from what I recall reading, this beautiful, beautiful red on the tongue, again with that classic red, white, and green of the Italian flag, the Diodora stitching there, and 9000 kind of stitching there too, if you can tell. Peach looking laces, I love that. This peach looking um, leather, perforated leather here, the purplish suede, again the outsole with the Diodora logo with that lovely black and red contrast, extra butter embossed in there. Um, or not a boss, what would you call that? Stitch, that's stitched. And 9000, barely can tell, but it's there, it's there. Um, the insole, again, lovely yellow pop uh, with the name of the collaboration. And uh, the other nice interesting thing with this was it came with this beautiful dust bag. I always appreciate getting a dust bag, right? Right, right. And it also came with one of the shoes attached to this little keychain with the extra butter logo and this like uh, dead man silhouette you always see in like crime scenes and ish. If I can get it to focus on it. There you go, that's a nice little touch. So yeah, always nice to get little extras like that. Uh, but yeah, man, this just absolutely beautifully constructed shoe. Great for fall, I would think. Uh, also works really any time of year, probably except for winter. Um, but my God, man, like, I remember my sister kind of put me onto the shoe. I mean, I had seen it before when it first released, but I, I was kind of like, eh, nah, I already got the Primos by Ronnie Flagg. I'm good on the Diodora. But now that the floodgates for Diodora had opened, I was like, you know what, I just, I can't pass on this. This was like, what other shoe have you ever seen that looks like this? Nothing. So, glad I got it. Oh, these red trims going all across. Woo, buddy, yep. And uh, they actually put out a little mini movie when they were releasing the shoe. Very low production, which again, I was a big fan of. Just became a little bit more relatable um, using that horror theme. Kind of an ode back to Psycho by uh, um, Hitchcock. And uh, yeah, not much else to say about the shoe. But uh, yeah, just premium, premium shoe. Great colorway. Couldn't pass it up. Whew. Next up in the Avalanche of Diodora collections. Back to the classic boxes for this collaboration. Now, this is an uh, interesting situation. Um, basically, well, we'll get into it, but here we have the Pata collaboration with Diodora, and this was, I believe, their first collaboration, if I'm not mistaken, and these were called the Nines, AKA the AC Milans, and the reason for that being, you could see the black and the red signify the uh, AC Milan soccer club logo. Number nine signifying, I believe, some of the founders of the uh, Pata brand, they, uh, they're they big fans of AC Milan and certain players that were on AC Milan that wore the number nine, so they decided to go with that. Beautiful, beautiful gum bottom, as you can see there. Um, again, that little red trim with the black, just beautiful, beautiful toe box. Uh, love this mesh here, and then the suede blackness uh, with that pop of red, the N9000 logo stitched in there. Um, lovely nine stitched in here. And the outs or the uh, insole you can see is like a soccer turf with uh, with the green in there. Uh, you can kind of barely tell that. And then here you see the paddle logo. So that's kind of cool. Now I'll be honest with you, I wasn't. Oh, and then don't forget the uh, attached tag with the uh, paddle embossed in there. Cool little custom touch. Um, but yeah, I honestly wasn't looking for this shoe. There was a different shoe, which you will see shortly, that I was looking for, and unfortunately the guy selling it, he was the only one that had it available in my size, and the only way I could get it was to get this and like two other shoes in the pack. So, it ain't what it is, but hey, it's a beautiful shoe. And uh, AC Milan's always been like, I'm not a huge soccer follower, as far as like international soccer clubs, uh, but I've always been drawn to AC Milan, just from the color combination, love red and black. And, uh, and I love Italy, so I have to go with this. And it did also come with these lovely, lovely red and uh, black uh, patterned uh, laces, but I think it looks just fine with the black laces, so I'm just gonna leave it as he is. Oof. Now, another pad of collaboration. 
collaboration. Uh, this one, I can't remember what number this was in their collaboration line, but this was called the Italia. Very clear to see why. You get the red, white, and uh, green of the Italian flag. Beautiful, beautiful leather tongue. It says Pata on it. The green hit there. And the rest of it is pretty much all just white and uh, tannish suede hits, which are very, very beautiful, very, very clean with a gum bottom, baby. So, oh, and then don't forget this nice little stitching in the back. This is just a beautiful, beautiful shoe. Came, came with the extra pair of white laces, uh, but I really like these uh, leather, leather laces. Just gives it a very nice premium shoe look uh, while still being clean enough to rock all season long. Um, but again, I wasn't really looking for the shoe, but it was part of a pack to get the one shoe I wanted, so I had to bite the bullet. It is what it is. Whew. Which brings us to the coup de gras, so to speak. Now, this shoe, I'd seen it multiple times and I kept holding off on it. I just didn't want to go that way. But eventually the bug called me and I was like, if I don't get these shoes, I'm going to hurt myself. Uh, that's a joke. But in all seriousness, I was uh, just so obsessed with getting these shoes. I've never been so obsessed with getting a pair of shoes or I can't remember the last time I was so, so obsessed with getting a pair of shoes, but this is that pair and I'll show you why. These are a hand and shop collaboration based out of the UK in uh, Scotland. And to me, they just absolutely crushed this. This is another N9000 collaboration. I mean, just look at this beautiful thing, man. Oh, this is called the Saturday Special as a reference to a, a famous um, European uh, train line or bus line. Uh, and I believe it was related to uh, you know, the ability to take that line for, uh, for soccer matches that classically happen on Saturdays. And uh, it doesn't run anymore. I believe it only ran in the 80s, but the colorway was a reference to those uh, uh, transit line colorways. Um, again, N9000, beautiful, beautiful hits of maroonish burgundy with these hues of blue and red just absolutely work together amazingly. This beautiful, beautiful suede there, as you can see. Oh my God, the little red pop in the front there, the Theodora black and red. Again, look at this kangaroo leather. This is just premium, 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 premium kangaroo leather. The nice pops of red on the insole and on the inside of the tongue there with the logo and everything. And then of course the Hannon uh, fire symbol. The other shoe actually features the fire symbol to signify the Hannon shop logo, which is amazing. Uh, but yeah, this is just ugh, next level, dude. Very hard to find, especially my size. Um, so I'm glad I was able to snag a pair, especially because I cannot wait to pop in these blue laces. I mean, this is gonna really make this pop. I've seen other people do it and just, I can't picture it any other way. This is, this is the way to go. This is like maybe the greatest shoe. This is in the running for one of the greatest shoes ever made, regardless of brand or whatever. It's just, I can't say enough about the shoe. And uh, I'll probably do a separate video where I just change out the laces just to show you, but, uh, oh, and then, the uh, Diodora and Hennen on the aglets there. Love that. But yeah, this is just, so to get the shoe in my size, I had to buy it from this eBay seller that refused to sell it alone. He was selling it in a pack with the Pata Italia's Pata 9s and uh, the Espresso Ristretto N9000, which I wanted anyway. So I only wanted really two out of the pack to get this, but, um, but the other two are nice, you know, but uh, I may think about selling them because, dude, I bought way too many shoes, but anyway. Very happy to have these. Last but not least, this is in the running for one of the best shoes ever made, in my opinion, and amongst other people as well, I would say. It's a traditional box, but it's sort of a custom box. First of all, as you can notice, you see the red on the, uh, on the logo there, which the rest of them are usually green. You also can see that this says limited editions because it was a limited editions uh, collaboration, and you see some Castellers on there. And Castellers are a... Uh, <coughs> which is the name of this collaboration, by the way, and on an N9000 model. Castellers are the human, to uh, human tower buildings. Uh, it's like an event in Spain that happens. I forget the exact details of the event, uh, but they have traditional garb that they wear and they use that traditional costume uh, or uh, you know, um, outfit design to collaborate on these sneakers. Limited Editions is a boutique out of Spain and they collaborate with Diodora for maybe the best Diodora uh, model ever made ever or shoe I should say made ever so without further ado look at this just look at this this is incredible and maybe it's difficult to appreciate on camera but I mean dude this kangaroo leather again premium 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 kangaroo leather 
coupled with uh, these different tones of leather. I forget exactly what kinds, but then you get this premium, premium mesh, these hits of tan, lovely speckling of mint along with the toe box, the nice pop of red, a little bit of that tannish gummy bottom. Oh my God. The Castellar's bandana going across the side with the uh, custom-y um, uh, stitching of the logo there. And then it turns right into this bandana appearance, signifying the uh, Castellar's logo. But just the overall construction of this, the attention to detail, the smoothness of this leather, the nice peachy leather on the inside here. Theodore N9000 Castellar's. Oh, and they included two extra insoles. As you can see here, it says Castellers on one, and it shows the actual human pyramid on the other. You can see here, this is, I mean, it's just kind of insane that this is like an actual activity human beings do. And this is the kind of the beautiful thing about shoes is, um, you know, if you pay attention to detail and appreciate the artistry of these shoes, you start to appreciate, um, you start to appreciate some things that you may not have known before in human history and other people's cultures and stuff like that, which is a beautiful um, signifier of what the shoe is all about. Now, this, the opposite shoe came with this little keychain attachment, which again, just the amazing attention to detail here. These human castellers doing their thing as part of the keychain, which is amazing. Again, the Diodoro tag here. Um, this insole, obviously featuring what I just showed you with the human pyramid there. And then, of course, you see them building another tower on the back. Oh, I just love how it just transitions from that black logo into the bandana logo. This is just next level, bruh, next level. So yeah, this is just a premium, premium, premium shoe. Very happy to have these. Came with a ton of extra lace options, but to be honest with you, I think this works the best just to keep the black very subtle because it's already drawing so much attention in how premium it looks. Um, and uh, yeah, I just can't say enough about the shoe. Again, even the, the wrapping paper on the inside with the bandana-like uh, material with the polka dots. Just amazing, amazing, amazing attention to detail. Um, so yeah, just not enough I can say about the shoe. And uh, the price reflects that, because these are definitely, uh, you know, gonna cost you a little pretty penny. Uh, but I was just happy that uh, they were still available in my size, which a lot of these uh, amazing Diodor collabs aren't, so. Oh yeah, lest we forget another Diodora. This one I got a long time before these bad boys. This was actually my first Diodora purchase, the Ronnie Feig joints, uh, in conjunction with Slam Jam out of Italy, uh, along with Kith of Ronnie Feig. Diodora, love this lovely custom box uh, with the red, white, and uh, green of the Italian flag, but in muted colors for a very specific reason. So inside the box came with a ton of extra lace options, which was fantastic. But I, oh, and then don't forget the uh, lovely custom paper. Always a nice touch. Um, the door tag, of course. But on to the shoes. I've uh, showed these off in a previous vlog when I went to Nashville for the first time to visit my Italian paisanos. Wait a minute. Damn it. Anyway, um, and here are the shoes, and I just love, love, love these things. So what Ronnie did, uh, he took the V7000 model, but he customized it just enough that uh, Diodora allowed him to rename it the RF7000, as you can see on the stitching there. Still has the lovely details of all premium materials, the asymmetrical toe box shape with the other shoe being the opposite end. So even though it looks asymmetrical here, the whole shoe put together looks fantastic. Again, the green, white, and red of the Italian flag, but he did it in more of a muted color scheme. So it's a little bit more wearable, which I love. Also, the nice detailing on the Diodora logo with the amazing, amazing pattern. I uh, love everything going on here, the different quality materials, as you can see. And then I went with the green laces because it really pops with the rest of the shoe, I think, because there wasn't just enough green, although the tongue really helps out with that. I love the pebbling look to that. That's just uh, amazing. Um, what else can I say? Oh, the best part, in my opinion, Bop, the gum bottom. Now it's a little bit dirtied here, obviously, because I've been wearing it, but uh, I wish you could appreciate how much cleaner this looked. Uh, if you go to my Nashville vlog and towards the beginning, I show the bottom of the shoe before I took the shoe down to Nashville to wear. Uh, a little bit more true to what it originally looked like, but uh, also some Instagram pictures I have that show uh, 
the pristineness right after I bought it uh, in the early days of uh, 2016. Um, but, uh, but yeah, just overall, just a fantastic shoe. I just love not only the gum bottom, but the pattern it has, just the zigzagginess going on. Just think it's absolutely dope going up into the toe there. Um, but yeah, just absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Ronnie Feig written on the uh, insole there. Yeah, just a really premium shoe. Had to add it to the collection. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, guys. Uh, I almost forgot about maybe the most important Diodora in the collection. I'm not going to say that. It's definitely not my favorite. Um, that would probably go to the uh, Saturday Specials or the uh, Castellers, uh, to be honest with you. Um, or actually, they all have a special place in my heart. But no, really. Um, one special one I forgot to mention. This little bad boy right here, which is very apropos to this whole thing. This is the Diodora a few collaboration called Highly Addictive, which is a very appropriate name for the sneaker, and uh, for that reason I had to get it. Um, so, as you can see, this is a very special box, bigger than usual, and as you can see some of the details on the box, of course on the front, you have Theodora A Few, highly addictive, made in Italy, designed in Germany, because A Few is based out of Germany, used with caution. V7000 Premium. So I had the OG V7000, I had the RF7000, and I figured, uh, you know, other than that, I could go with another premium V7000, more modern and more apropos to my sneaker addiction. So I went with these. Uh, the back is very creative too, and you'll see why. Uh, again, it says a few, and then it says instructions. Limited edition for sneaker addicted new and, oops, oh, I'm reading it upside down. Limited, yeah, let's try it this way. Limited edition for sneaker addiction, for sneaker addicted men and women. Wear it once a week. Keep it clean. Do not resell. Uh, don't worry a few and Diodora. I will not be selling these. So let's open them up because uh, this is a very interesting pair. So that's the shoe. And here are an extra couple insoles. So with the theme of being highly addictive, kind of like a, I get more of an Adderall theme with this uh, packaging and uh, colorway. So you see kind of the uh, the pill bottle insoles that they included extra, which is dope. Um, Diodora logo on the back there, which is kind of cool. Very, love the red, my favorite color. Um, what else? And then with the shoes itself, it comes in like a pill packet, uh, like a blister packet, uh, at least the special edition. There was a non-special edition version that's a little bit cheaper, obviously. Uh, not as limited as these pairs, but uh, this one was the special packaging that they custom built with a blister pack to go with the whole highly addictive theme. You can kind of tell the, uh, the hint of the colors of the shoes. There's the Afu logo, the Pill logo, uh, beautiful, beautiful V7000 uh, construction. And uh, I wish I could show you the outsoles, but they're kind of stuck in there. And then here's the blister pack with some perforations that you can open it up. Uh, just a super phenomenally well done design. And uh, what better time to open them up than now? Huh? Well, might as well. Let me see if I can open this very carefully. Along the perforations. Whoops. My neck. Ha, 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 ha. Mm. Uh. Ooh, okay. All right, I think that's enough. I can pull these out now. So as you can see, oh my God, man, these are even more beautiful. I mean, just look at that beautiful, beautiful suede, just super, super plush, more beautiful suede. Again, that famous Diodora mesh quality, white laces, the A Few logo with the uh, pinkish and minty green. Again, mint green in the back, the V7000 logo. Again, a closer look at the A Few boutique logo, highly addictive. And you get the pill bottle there, as I told you before. Another little custom tag there. The outsoles, though, look at this. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Again, it gives you that hint of uh, what the uh, RF 7000 looks like, uh, of course, with a more of a gum bottom, but in this classic zigzag pattern, which I love. Um, Theodora written in that maroonish color there with some black there. There was, so these were called highly addictive. There was a friends and family pair that came out that was uh, called The Cure. And instead of white, it was mostly black where the white is. And to be honest with you, I'm glad that that was the family and friends package and not these because to me, these look way better. Um, they did come with a ton of these extra lace options, which a lot of people love to switch out rather than the white. And I'm not gonna lie, it would work very well and give it that extra add of pop of color. So as you can see here, this one has a um, black grommet there, along with on the lateral side, the same thing. But on the medial side of each shoe, you see um, the pinkish grommet there and then the mintish grommet there. So for this one, along with the uh, mint trim along the medial side, I wish they had done this on the lateral side, to be honest with you, but whatever. Itty would itty. Um, and then of course, on this side, more of that pink trim on the medial side. So all in all, very, very fantastic. And I love this like darker red that kind of trims along and in and, and that wave pattern along the along the side there. And then that little touches of black just really add a little bit more character to the shoe, which is g -elp. Um Again, a few. And then this one has the Deodora stitched in, very high quality, love that. A little bit of a tannish underbelly for the tongue, which is cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I think for the one with the minty medial side and grommet, I would probably put in the green laces to accentuate that. And then of course the same thing on this side for the pinkish, do that with the pink laces. But the other nice thing with this shoe, the other nice added qualité is The insoles, so these are a different set of insoles. Again, the same Deodora pattern on the inside, red, white, which is kind of pillish, right? Um, and then these have the actual pills on them and then the uh, can be highly addictive, used with caution, a few. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful attention to details. Cannot hate on that. But now it comes down to what do I wanna rock? Do I wanna rock these or do I wanna rock these? Let me know what y'all think. Um, I personally, I feel like I would rather have these insoles in the shoes because you know rarely people are going to see that and it'll wear down over time. Although granted, I'm not going to be wearing them once a week like instructed. Fuck the police. Um, but uh, in addition to that, I think uh, the wear and tear on these will eventually be fine compared to the ones with the pill bottles. I'd rather keep them in the blister pack just as a you know, packaging kind of detail. So I'm going to just stick these in here instead. I think. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that if I can. Oh, there's still some little paper in here. So let's do that. Boom, boom. And boom, boom. So there you have it, uh, the highly addictive pair. You see as a pair, they just look super, super dope, especially for spring. I am so excited to rock these. Um, again, oh, that bottom. I really wanna capture this before I start dirtying it up because uh, it's just too, too nice. Um, yeah, these are just so simple yet popping. Um, yeah, definitely gonna have to switch out the laces, I think. I think, yeah, the, the white looks great, but I mean, you can only imagine how much more depth will be added to the shoe once you add in the uh, different, um, uh, laces. So with that said, uh, I think we've finally arrived at the end of the uh, Deodora collection. That's kind of the end of it. Um, thanks for joining on this amazing adventure of Deodora. I'm glad I could bring it to you. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thanks for joining. We'll see you soon. Ah, bye.